And Facebook. Yep. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, we're live on YouTube. Live on YouTube? Yeah. Sup. 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 We're live on YouTube. What's up, YouTube? We're back. Drops of the week uh, are kind of happening. We're going to wait another second as we get connected to our uh, Facebook channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Let us know when we're good. Otherwise, we're just staying here and do this. I always kind of so like, annoying. right? I always kind of like that when we do these live videos, there's a little bit of a time where we have to just kind of like wait. For yeah. some people to start watching and people yes. start engaging. I noticed that And then we kind of dive in. Yep. Right. So we're just going to hang out. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, we've got a lot of new new subscribers. I noticed that. It's pretty sick. <laughs> it, seems, it seems to be the time of year, like right before Christmas, we just get a ton of people. Right. Right. There's like, like 1.5 million people or like 1.5 million watch hours on our channel. Mm-hmm. Like the last 30 days, which is crazy. I'm like, we're doing a cheeseburger challenge. Are you? Do you know? Do you know that? I know about it, and I'm honestly really upset that I'm not a part of this. Dude, because I get in on it. love to invite me. Yeah. I love cheeseburgers. Yeah, cheeseburger challenge. <laughs> We've done two already. We did Afton, which was like a four. Yep, I saw that. I watched it. This is yeah. actually like all the stuff that you do that I actively seek out to watch. I literally seek out your cheeseburger. I cheeseburger. care about. I, I care about food a lot. Che cheeseburger. <laughs> you know what though? That that Trollhagen burger, man. I think by the end of the season, that's gonna be the winner. Well, yeah, because we have like the. It's two eighty five. It was two dollars and eighty five cents. It was a. You really got it for Taco burger. Tuesday, right? Taco Tuesday. What's Taco Tuesday? I think. Okay, we're live on Facebook. We're live on okay. Facebook. There's Taco, a day of the week Tuesday? at Trollhagen. I think I don't remember if it's Tuesday or Monday. They do. Buck Hill does like Taco Friday. But it's literally like seventy five cents a taco. Oh. It's not Mexico taco, but like it's. It's D's. It's a taco. D's. Well, there's that Taco John's really close to here, so like, yeah. On those Tuesdays, it's like I eat. If I choose to go there, like, too many. All right, we're live. We're good to go. Hey, Talking what's up, internet? I'm Guff. <laughs> I'm Michelle. Hey, and we're from thehouse.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, every single Thursday, oh, for the last like six weeks, we've been doing a thing called uh, Drops of the Week. We have been doing that. Uh, right around noon or so, mm -hmm. but we decided that we kind of want to push it later in the day when people are kind of off work and uh, You know, hopefully out of school so you guys can watch more. So thanks for being here. They've been pretty fun Yeah, they've I've been pretty fun. fun. Doing it. Yeah, it's also really fun to like kind of pick out the stuff that we think is dope For you guys to look at because you know like when you navigate our website or if you come into our shop Sometimes you're, you're able to pick through things, but it's hard to get that hands-on feel. So we picked some of the some of our favorite ones, and this week we're doing jackets. Mm -hmm. So we picked how many did you pick out five? I picked out five. Yeah, you picked out five. Yep. I picked out five too. Um, but um, kind of before that, I want to remind you guys about uh, this little giveaway we're doing. Uh, we teamed up with uh, DC, and we're giving away uh, this bad boy. This is a uh, the DC Black 156. There's 39 out of this is number 39 out of 56. There's only 56 of these in the world, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty exclusive. Pretty exclusive. So, pretty fancy. so yeah, pretty fancy. It's just easy to win. All you have to do is just like sign up. You can see the link below in the description and bada bing, you can win. Um, so to start off the videos, we're going to kind of go back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I guess, you know, I'll, 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 you want to start? You start. Ladies first. Go ahead. Yeah, I can start. Um, just How, to tall, start How tall are you? Right off the bat, I'm 5'7". Okay. Generously 5'7". Um, what does that generously mean? I'm like 5'6 and 3 quarters, so I say I'm 5'7". Yep. Oh, I'm 5'7". Yeah. Um, I weigh like 125, 130, and mm -hmm. pretty much across the board, I wear a small in most of the brands. Okay. Occasionally, and I have a Roxy jacket on right now. Small fits totally perfect. Occasionally, okay. like in the shoulders, I might size up just for activity, um, especially for snowboarding. Right. It's nice to be able to just totally move around and be comfortable. Right. So if it's for snowboarding exclusively, I'll buy a medium if I just want to feel like kind of a streetwear jacket too. I like to buy a small. Good call. Um, but this is the Roxy Jetty 3-in-1 jacket. So by a 3-in-1, I mean that it is a shell jacket just by itself. And then when you open it up, you actually have a fleece liner that you can completely unzip. So that's jacket number two. And then together, you have a super warm coat. Um, that's jacket number three. So there's a lot of options there if you want a fleece, if you want a more versatile coat, um, if you want something warm. I think those are really nice options, especially if yep. you're buying for someone and you don't really know kind of like what temperature they like to be when they're riding. So like if you have right. a, a teenage son and you assume that they want warmth but a lot of teenage boys like kind of like to ride with just a shell jacket if right. you get them a three in one for example like they have a lot of options mm -hmm. i think that's a good pick and then you have a casual piece too mm -hmm. if you don't want to wear the outer shell you can just wear the fleece like inside yeah and this is Boom. insanely soft super soft it's so soft 
Yeah. So that's the first one. What was it called? The Jetty? Roxy Jetty. Yeah. We have a, do we have a lot of colorways? In yeah, we have a ton of colorways. Not okay. only in this one, but in different versions too. So if you're not a fan of the three-in-one, um, Roxy Jetty is actually like one of their most popular coats like year after year. Right. So right. It's a popular brand. They always have like a lot of cute prints, right. a lot of cute like flattering women's cuts too, which is yeah. nice to have as an option. Sometimes you can kind of get swallowed up by snowboarding coats. Right. So. Well, then, uh, what's her name? Uh, Tor Bright. She writes for Roxy. Yes. Who else? Does Jamie Anderson ride Roxy clothes I too? Or just... Think so. I think she does. Does she? I don't know if she does anymore. Oh, okay. But I think she did at a certain point in time. Sure. Sure. They make good, they make good stuff. <laughs> they do. You know? They make really nice Super stuff. Super good stuff. Um, this thing... Uh, this is a flight jacket by Grenade, uh, originally kind of started by the Cass brothers, Danny and Matt Cass. Um, bomber jackets right now are kind of like the thing. You They're know, really like, popular. I, I, don't, I don't own a bomber jacket. My grandfather I'm had, like, he was, he was a, a, a Navy pilot, and he had like the most badass bomber jacket, but he was smaller than me, so I can't. You know. How tall are you? How much I, you Oh yeah, good call. Yeah. I am, uh, <laughs> I'm 6'4". I'm, I'm six three and three quarters. I weigh about 220. You gotta round up. Right? You gotta round up. Uh, I weigh about 220, and my, my chest is about like a 44 or so on a good day. And um, I generally tend to wear size XL jackets. Uh, and like you were saying, like if I'm wearing a, like more of a street jacket, I might I might go into a large, but usually it's a pretty mm -hmm. safe bet. I'm gonna go with an XL. But if I want a lot of room, sometimes I go into a double, but that's not very often. But no. usually, usually XL. This is a this is size XL. Um, I like this thing. Again, with, a, with it being a bomber jacket, most of them have that kind of like orange colorway on the inside. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a riding jacket, even though it kind of comes from a riding brand like Grenade. And it also has this like kind of Sherpa style collar, which I like. You can like pop it up, it, keep your neck warm and stuff. But you can also, um, you can take the fur off, you can take the faux fur off. Um, so you don't, if you don't want to have that look. But I like it has like this chain stitch embroidery. It says racks, there's some patches and some stuff on it. It's pretty dope. This is my first pick. This is the, the grenade flight jacket. Great, very trendy. Cool. Yeah, I like it. It's, you know, trendy. It's trendy. Trendy, yeah, yeah. Trendy. <laughs> trendy, yeah, yeah. So my next cut is the Burton AK Blade Gore-Tex. This is actually a shell, meaning that there's no insulation at all. Um, it's just meant for you to layer. So what it's gonna do with the Gore-Tex waterproofing is provide you um, a lot of protection against really snowy days or really rainy days. And this is a small, but it fits a little bit larger, which is kind of typical for shells just because of the lack of insulation. So that's nice to know um, so that on the really cold days, if this is the only jacket that you have, you can really layer up with those base layers um, just to accommodate. But on the warmer days, like I know in Big Sky last year, it was like 42 degrees. I was wearing a shell and a t-shirt and I was sweating. Jeez. So even, even then, like it has pit zips under so that's really nice. Um, Gore-Tex is the way to go if you're worried about staying dry. Yeah. For sure. You, you pay a little bit more for it, but it lasts forever and it's totally worth the cost if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like Gore-Tex, like I wear pretty much all Gore-Tex clothes. Like AK, like Burton's AK line is kind of, so is like nice. the pinnacle, you know, like it's like the top. Mm -hmm. uh, that Gore, Gore's like a no-brainer, especially if you ride in really, yeah, wet, wet conditions for sure. For sure. Yep. But um, it works as a street jacket too, like especially in the spring right. or the fall, um, riding times, or if you just want to layer up, like it's still a cute piece. It doesn't look like it's just for athletics. So. Right. Burton AK Blade Gore-Tex yeah. jacket. Yeah, it's good. It's good to have like a piece. Like if you're buying jackets, like sure you can get like a very riding specific jacket, but it is kind of nice to have a, a piece that you can also wear in the streets. So like after you go riding, you can like go have dinner, go to a bar, or whatever. And you don't look like totally. a weirdo with a bunch of snowboard stuff on, you know. You know, it's kind of like this. I've definitely walked around in like my snow pants and like a big puffy coat going everywhere before that. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. In ski towns, that's fine. But if you like live close to a city, like switch your jacket up and get it casual, right? Yeah. yeah. For sure. Um, this thing is dope. Um, this is kind of a jacket. It's uh, kind of a new trendy uh, shirt jacket thing. This is the Burton uh, Beacon Quilted. It's kind of like a quilted style jacket with a DWR durable water repellent style finish. Um, it looks like it has like button snaps, which it actually does, but it has a actually a full zip closure. It's quilted on the inside. Nice little like kind of double goggle pocket and closed uh, and zipper closure pockets too. Um, it comes in two different colors. This is the navy one. I, I like the navy. Also, it comes in black. It has like this soft kind of like cotton canvas style material to it on the outside. Um, and I have a feeling after you break it in, it just is going to be just a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not comfortable right now. But I, I feel like after you wear it, you know, like as, as your jeans well, distress. Well, it's like leather too. Like right. you have to wear something like a leather belt. Right. It's not yeah, comfortable yeah. the first few times. So. Yeah, exactly. This so, is super popular though. I like, yeah. I've worn a couple of these and I like that it has yep. a zipper underneath because otherwise if you just have like the button style riding jacket, like a lot of wind gets in there. And Big it's time. not ideal. It's a little chilly. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you can, if you wanted to, you could throw like Michelle's, Michelle's AK like jacket. You could throw you an throw AK on. jacket or, or a, a tech shell on. over the top. Underneath it. Right. Perfect. Ah. Layer. Okay, so that was my, that was my number two Burton Beacon quilted. So my third pick is the 686 Athena insulated jacket. This is one of my favorite picks just for kind of look wise too. I really think it's, it's a lot different. Um, and I like that the part that sits down on the chair lift or on the chairs is the darker color. Because when it comes to white coats, I kind of have trust issues. Um, I really love the design on this just because it's way different. Like you don't see a lot of gold zippers. Right. Um, this is really standard snowboarding piece. like. Pretty standard middle ground insulation, middle ground waterproofing, but this is definitely the kind of coat that could totally be like your casual, you know, if you're younger, like your bus stop coat, or if you're older and you take the bus to work. Yeah. Um, like this is kind of the sort of jacket I would pick for that. I have a 686 like moderate insulation, moderate waterproofing. I love it for snowboarding. I love it for streetwear. Um, so yeah, the 686 Athena insulated jacket is just kind of like my favorite middle ground pick. I think yeah. they, they just do a really good job of fit and stylization too. Right. And you could probably match it up with a, like navy pants. You could do white pants. You could do like khaki, khaki kind pants, of like the gold. Totally. Yeah. So it's definitely styled in a certain way, but it's not. It's not boring. Like you have a lot of combinations here that right. you could do, whereas like certain ones, not everything would match. Mm -hmm. And I like that option too. Cool. What's someone called? Six eighty six. What? Six eighty six Athena insulated jacket. Athena insulated. That's a good one. This one isn't insulated. I love. But candy. it's camouflage. Can you see me? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> no. So you, like, you just have a floating head and legs. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> this is this is the Dakin Sutherland, and I was actually kind of drawn towards this one because it's a it's like a really really thin shell, but it's long. As you see, it has like this kind of like weird powder skirt thing. The powder skirt only has like one button snap, and that's kind of it. So it just has the aesthetic look of of like a longer style jacket, and that's good for for tall guys like me. You know, like most average jackets like seem to be just a little bit short. So any jacket with a little bit of length like this. Uh, is, is actually really nice, but again, especially for it, someone your height. Yeah, real. because of my height, you know, I'm like, I don't, I don't fit in a lot of stuff. Um, but this is pretty cool. The southern one has a kind of shallow style pockets. There's no zippers. Keep that in mind. There's no zipper pockets on the side. But the price point's really low, which is nice. And then like 5,000 breathability and 5,000 uh, waterproof rating. So it's like pretty, pretty minimal. But you know, it's got, it's got all the, you know, tech stuff that you'd want. I, I have a feeling like a lot of, a lot of kids would want this jacket. That's such right. a cool like right. park jacket for yeah. sure. Yeah, this is like a park. Like if you ride parks a lot, like and you don't want to wear just a hoodie. Yeah, that's perfect. The kind of slug. The zipper and Boom. like the drop. Is this gray part like a part of it? Yeah, that's like the powder oh, skirt. Oh yeah, that's super Which cool. Which is kind of crazy. It's like it's like a it's a cooler feature too because it's kind of dynamic in terms yeah. of like textures and colors. Right. So it's like I, muted. Yep. But it gives you a little bit extra something right. in terms of fashion. Right. I feel like uh, <laughs> I feel like Yeezy. Doesn't he do that? Yes. Kanye. Yeah. He does. He does like that long shirt thing under his sweatshirt. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I feel like Yeezy. Nah. <laughs> Maybe. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Ginger Yeezy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ginger Yeezy. <laughs> Gin Yeezy. Sutherland. The Sutherland jacket. Yeah. <laughs> like Donald. Isn't that? Isn't that the guy? Donald Sutherland. The guy in the Lost Boys movie. Man. You're losing gonna... me. I'm sorry. Oh man, watch I that tried. movie, kids. Okay. <laughs> the Lost Boys. They turn into vampires. Mm. Good movie. Okay. okay. I'll watch it. Next yeah. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Next jacket. Yeah. This is the DC uh, Panoramic. This is my favorite pick for like a um, more casual piece that's still good for snowboarding. This is like the 686 I would say is probably like pretty much even snowboarding, even casual. This is a bit more casual, but also good for boarding. Um, it does have a powder skirt, but it's you can zip it out, which nice. I really like, especially that's for cool. a casual piece, because it's just, it makes it a little bit more versatile. Um, and I really like the length. Not only is it cute for like if you just have kind of a long day outside, which I think you have to have a long coat for that because it really, really helps, but it's just like a more of a flattering cut on this one too. I really like the color. It goes well with oh, cool. like, you know, all your pants and jeans or whatever, but it's also really easy to pair with no pants too. So I really like this piece. It's like lightly insulated. It's got tons of storage, tons right. of pockets. Um, it's just like a well thought out casual piece too. Right. I personally like the furry hoods because then when you put it up, it like it's like extra protection against snow. Does you does <laughs> it can you take it off? Can you take the fur off? I you think know? so. Yeah, you think you can double check. I think you can. Usually yep. you can. You can. So if you see fur on a jacket, you can probably take it off. Yeah. Um, if you, you can't snap more. it off, you can cut it off. Yeah. I you could. You could. You probably won't could. need to. Uh, you know what? I think <laughs> out of all of them that you've picked so far or that you've shown, that mm -hmm. one's my favorite. I just think 
think they right. really did a good job on fit. And like, there's tons of room for mov- movement. Okay. It's super true to size with sure. DC. There's thumb holes, which is always nice to have the wrist gaiters with snowboarding. Nice. Or if you just like forget your gloves, like right. I do a lot, you can just kind of tuck your hands in. <laughs> and I like the accent on the back, <laughs> like across the back. That's kind of like a cool little stripe. You know, just kind of like break up, break the jacket piece up. Yeah. Cool. It's very well thought out. Good I like pick. it a lot. Good pick. Mm-hmm. What's that called? Uh, the DC panoramic, yep. Panoramic. Panoramic. Uh, this one, this is another kind of cool bomber Look jacket. Look green. Right? Boom. This Boom. is actually, uh, so the bomber jacket, the original bomber jacket was made by a company called Alpha, and the original bomber jacket was, mm-hmm. called, was called the MA-1. This is an MA-1 Burton Alpha undefeated collab. So it's like undefeated, I believe, is a brand out of Japan, Burton snowboards, obviously, and then Alpha Industries. It kind of came together to make this riding, this is actually a riding jacket, mm-hmm. MA-1 bomber jacket. And I really dig this because of the length, again, like it goes past my butt. Yeah, that's not normal for a bomber jacket. Right, right. Kind of nice. Yeah, this one, this one, like this other one's a little bit short. Um, but another cool thing about it, besides like you know, the, the waterproof zippers on it, it comes with a bunch of patches. So you can swap, you can swap your patches <laughs> out. You can put... Whatever. It's like stickers for your board. It's kind of like stickers for your board, but for your jacket, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, but I do like this colorway, and again, it does have that internal like uh, orange color. Um, it's pretty minimal, uh, but the price point is pretty low. I think right now it's like ninety-three bucks on our site. It's like sixty-three Dang. percent off, which is like really great. But you know, all those brands together, uh, Alpha, uh, Undefeated, and then Burton coming together to make a piece like this is actually really cool. I had one, our, one of our sound and audio and video guys, Scott, just try it on. Are you gonna buy this thing? Yes. Are you? Yes. You probably should. <laughs> you got a big trip. He, Scott's leaving tomorrow. What? Yeah. He's going to, he's going to Denver. Where are you going to go ride, bud? <laughs> Keystone. <maybe>. Keystone. <laughs> in your brand new jacket. So if you see a, if you see a tall dude wearing this jacket at Keystone this weekend. Make sure you flip Scott, him off. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> okay. So my final jacket, as you might have seen me so elegantly putting it on. Um, is the Volcom Fern Insulated Gore-Tex Anorak style. So as you can see, this is a jacket with a side zip. There's no full zip in the front. Full you zip. do have to pull it over. So I would consider this more of a riding hoodie, like, or a riding jacket. It's really cool, really flattering. Like, I really like how Volcom designed these. However, personally, as someone who suffers with the staticky hair of winter, it's not <laughs> the best for, like, the winter morning when you wake up and you're heading to work. It's more my riding coat. I mean, I have an anorak at home, and I absolutely love it for riding because, like, there's no zipper. There's no, like, folding when you're on the chairlift. It's just really comfortable once you have it on. Um, So it's a cool, flattering fit. It's just a little bit different. Like, you can have one that's just kind of a plain, simple color, but the fact that it's an anorak just kind of adds, like, that cool, stylish effect. Um, This is Gore-Tex. It is insulated. So this is, to me, like, the ultimate riding jacket. It's my pick. Um, I just really, really like it. I don't know what it is. Just the fact that it looks kind of like a hoodie with like the drawstring right. down here. Yep. I think it's super cool. It's cool. Quality thumb holes, like just the right amount of insulation. Fits great. Volcom and Gore-Tex. And then, you know, the anoraks are trending. I'm surprised actually I didn't pick an anorak out. I get kind of claustrophobic. Like, like put on an anorak unless it has like a full zip side. Super important because right. like this goes all the way to here. Okay. So it doesn't just come up. I know there's there were some jackets over the last couple of years they've really figured it out, but there was some that only came up to here. Oh, like the this side zip would start. This is not the enough there. room. And yeah. then they started to go to here. You right. really have to go up past the armpit, right. and then it's so easy to get on and off. Cool. You don't feel claustrophobic. Cool. Good. It's a great yeah. riding jacket. And this is a good color too. Like some mm-hmm. magenta. Would you call that magenta? Magenta. Is that a magenta? It's like a muted magenta mm-hmm. you know it's not like punching your face loud but it's like it's like vibrant but it's not like yeah like wow and it's know? cool like just pair with some right. black snow pants goes with everything it's easy peasy easy peasy and it's trending anoraks are trending and along with cute bibs. too if you're gonna like crash we should do so bibs like, next week we'll or do bibs. let's do we'll let's do, do pants next snow week snow pants just we're not that biased can be bibs at all no we're not <laughs> don't don't buy bibs um yeah we should do bibs next week okay you mean or pants? pants. We should do snow pants. Just trains. Yeah. <laughs> it might be kind of weird. It might be kind of weird, like, trying to put pants on. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure All right. It out. Uh, this is mine. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Good. Uh, this, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a jacket. I love that. Uh, I do, too. Actually, uh, I You're just You're, like, just matching huge Good job. in these last couple. You know? Fun. Boom. Boom. This is a... <laughs> Plum, I like plum. I can't wear a lot of color. I can wear every color in the rainbow, but with my complexion and my red beard, like color, I have to be very select on colors. 
you know? Mm -hmm. For all my gingers out there, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, plum, buy plum, it's a good color. Um, anyway, That's this a good is, color on anyone, this is, this is a nice color. This is the, uh, the analog uh, mantra or mantra Gore-Tex. Now, uh, analog makes a couple of mantra jackets, but this is a special one because of the Gore-Tex material. So, uh, highest rating of waterproof, uh, waterproofing and breathability, fully taped seams, but it has like that coach jacket styling. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really look like a super high tech jacket. It does have zippered side pockets, zippered front. Um, Is that insulated too? No insulation. No insulation. Yeah, super, it has like a lightweight liner, but no insulation. Mm -hmm. um, and then like a media pocket with a port. But overall, like I've been trying on a lot of jackets. I, I own a lot, you know, like I think working here, it's easy to you have a lot of jackets. Acquire a lot of jackets. You have a jacket for literally every possible riding weather day that there totally. is. Totally. Literally. Right. <laughs> right. And we, you know, we just started doing this thing called um, the lunch sessions at a little skate park uh, by by uh, by the shop. And I was like, I need a jacket for that type of riding because I'm not going to wear like something super kind of like high tech or whatever mm -hmm. just to like just to go ride like hike park. You so know. So it's like a nice like after work sesh type right. of jacket, just like real right. quick. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and you can like have it in your car. It's not something big and bulky. And yeah, I can throw a hoodie on. There's enough room. Again, like it's it's pretty it's pretty long. This is a size, the, all my jackets are size XL. Um, yeah, two thumbs up for Analog for thinking that. Like Gore-Tex coach's jacket. They're Boom. so popular. Boom, it's still popping. Trendy. Cool. Um, that's kind of it. Yep. Which one's your favorite out of all of them? Um, I would have to say this one. That one. But in, in all reality, if I was going to buy one that I could use more, mm. it would probably be the DC Panoramic. Just because okay. I really am kind of obsessed with the fit of that one. But right. if I were to like splurge, I, I'd probably do this one. A little you bit more expensive. One. Like it's got yeah. the Vortex and everything. Right. I think it's just like a nice piece. Right. Yeah. Right. I it's like a little trendy though. That's uh, pretty trendy. It's pretty trendy. You could do it. So you got cute. it. Right. Whatever. Um, I think this is my favorite one. I like that. I like one this one. I like this one. They're all they're all really great. For, oh, they like all have this, their purposes. You like that camo? one? Yeah. 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 But okay, so top to bottom for me, this is a the kind uh, flight Burton uh, Beacon Quilted, uh, the kind Sutherland Burton Alpha Undefeated MA One mm -hmm. Analog Mantra Gore Tex jacket. Sweet. <laughs> I had the Roxy Jetty 3-in-1, the Burton AK Blade Gore-Tex, uh, the 686 Athena DC Panoramic, and then the Volcom Fern Insulated Gore-Tex. Boom. Boom! Cool. So those are the those are the drops of the week. Got a question. We got a question coming in okay. from YouTube or Facebook? Facebook. What's up, Facebook question person? Ask, ask Monique. Her. What's up, Monique? Schaefer? Monique Hayes. What's up, Monique Hayes? I'm taking my boy skiing for the first time. We are back east. What jacket would you advise? It, of course, will be snowboarding. Back Ooh. east? Back east, so it's, it's going to be dry and it's going to be cold as hell. For the boys? For the boys. Definitely something insulated. Yeah, i got to have something insulated. Uh, DC, for how, how old are the boys? Do we know? The boys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> depending on what size they are, like a lot of the youth style jackets that uh, have done really well for, for us and that sell really well, uh, DC makes a lot of really great mm -hmm. insulated youth jackets. Yeah, they fit super true to size. They're almost always insulated because kids tend to be not that hard charging on the hill. Right. So they get a little bit chillier and it just makes it more versatile too for when they're at the bus stop or playing outside. It's just a more versatile piece for them too. Right. But yep. DC kids, like when I had kids come into the shop, like... They always wanted the DC coat, so they always ended up leaving with the DC or the Burton, just because I think that right. they, they fit well mm -hmm. and they're comfortable and they make them in styles that kids really like. Yep, and they're bright. Usually they have like they have dark colors, but for the most part they're bright. I think I see a lot of parents looking for that. So if you're like sitting in the chalet, like watching your kids get lessons or in the park, mm -hmm. like if they have a bright green jacket on, or like you, a camo, you know. or specifically like a pattern like that, like right. way easier to find your kids. Yeah, yep. DC, DC or Burton. Yeah, that's a good question. Song question. Great question. Cool. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Michelle, thanks for being here. Good picks. For sure. Good yeah. Picks. Good picks. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys. So we're kind of like uh, changing the direction of what we're doing with our, our drops of the week again. <clears throat> On Tuesday, we had been going live for five. Uh, being that it's winter now, we, we're doing a lot of video and photo shoots on snow. Mm -hmm. So you may be seeing us kind of go live on Tuesdays on snow with riders and kind of seeing the behind the scenes of, of what we do when we go do a photo or video shoot. Um, and then on Thursdays at four o'clock, instead of at noon, 12, 15, 12, 30, one, one, one o'clock, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just a big day. Yeah, big we're, day. we're gonna do we're gonna do it just kind of once on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Um, so you guys can watch because you're out, be out of school, hopefully, 
and then out of, out of work. Or maybe you're still at work, but it's four o'clock. You need a break. That's right. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Remember to go sign up with the DC uh, DC Black. Anything else? I'm set. You're set. Me too. Thank you guys. Yeah. Boom. Thanks for watching. If you don't follow us on YouTube, go over there and subscribe. Do it. If you don't follow us on Facebook, go over there and yeah. like us. Like us.